from WCPO 9 on your side, it's a new day with your host, Mona Morrow. Good morning and welcome to a new day. Well, coming up on today's show, a community-wide foundation that provides a way to pool resources to support organizations in northern Kentucky. Plus, we'll talk to parents working to strengthen law enforcement and community relationships and offer alternative resources to schools for discipline. That's much needed. But first, if you or someone you know could benefit from job training and maybe a higher paying job, pay close attention to my next guest. And I want to welcome her to the show. Welcome Danny Watkins, who's the pr program director for CityLink. Yes. Danny, welcome and thank, thank you, you so much for being here. Thanks. All right, so tell me just a little bit about the history, how long CityLink has been around, and then we'll talk about some of the services. Yeah, so CityLink's been open since 2013. We're a co-location model, and all that means is we're a one-stop shop. We have 17 different independent 501c3 organizations mm -hmm. located inside of our facility and basically what that does is it allows folks to eliminate the time effort and energy it takes to travel all over our city to access resources they can come through one set of doors and they have access to all the different organizations right at their fingertips when you're really conveniently located they're right there on bank street right? we are we're in the west end yeah mm -hmm. okay. on bank street all right so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the services that you offer with job training yeah first of all let's talk about cornerstone which is pretty new yeah i think and i love 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 this idea so talk to yeah. us yeah, Cornerstone Construction is our newest training program that we launched, and it's a four-week training program that gets folks prepared to walk onto a construction job site and get to work. And so um, you come out dual with two certifications, the NCCER Core Construction Certification, which is an industry-recognized certification, and they also come out with the OSHA 10 certification, which is great. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Safety. what does that mean? What kind of jobs will they get in construction? So they'll, they'll come out and do um, any sort sort of general labor job initially coming out, but they can go into any industry that they want. They could do drywall, they can come out and do um, an apprenticeship and move into HVAC or electric or something like that, coming out with these certifications. Because these certifications are about safety, are they not? OSHA 10 is, is a safety yeah. certification, and then the NCCER core is just general construction knowledge. And you partner with people on, on that one. Tell me who you partner with. We do, with. we do. So um, the beautiful thing about CityLink is we have these different organizations who specialize in um, different areas and so one of our partners is Cincinnati Public Schools they come in and do construction math and then they're also helping with some of the employability skills and communication skills um, and then we have someone that's on um, staff through Cornerstone Construction who's teaching um, the tool handling and materials handling and things like that and then also helping with job placement okay mm -hmm. all right this is you know which is really important to have, to have job placement is a really cool aspect yeah, of it's this a big program deal. We want folks to come out. That's the end game, right? Yeah. It's not that you're better at swinging a hammer. It's that you have a job on the other side. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, okay. Tell us about Finley Culinary. Yeah. I'm excited about this one, too. Yeah, so our culinary training is um, a really interesting um, thing that came up. A couple years ago, the um, Business Courier came out with an article that said Cincinnati was facing a critical cook shortage. Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of kicking around the idea of what would it look like if we created and designed a culinary training program. And so we got together with Finley Market, and we said, you know what, you guys are the experts in food. Would you be willing to do the culinary training program? Um, portion of it and then we piece together our partners at CityLink. Um, Cincinnati Works does the employment, um, Cincinnati Public Schools is doing culinary math and then we have resiliency training through our partners at Greater Cincinnati Behavioral Health. So everybody's kind of coming together in their niche areas wow. to create this new thing together. And so folks spend four weeks at CityLink getting all the hard skills and the soft skills that they need to be successful in the restaurant industry. And we're not talking fast food, this is finer dining, higher mm -hmm. end because mm -hmm. our, we're, we're seeing more and more independent restaurateurs coming in, in in Cincinnati and they need to fill their they need more cooks in the kitchen. That's right. <laughs> so, cooks. Okay, you know, I'm really interested in the culinary math. It sounds like something I might have been able to pass <laughs> because I didn't pass the regular math. So, um, but learning, measuring, and all of that all stuff. All the things you need, ratios, proportions, yeah. expanding your recipes. Once they finish the four weeks at CityLink, they actually transition over to our restaurant in the Finley Market. It's called Social OTR. It's at 1819 Elm Street. And they spend 
spend 12 weeks there honing in their technique skills that they learned at CityLink, and they work every position on the cook line mastering it, and then we have an, an industry specialist who helps them find employment on the other end when they graduate. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm it's so a lot happy of fun. about that. And the food's great. you got to get down there. Okay, yeah, at Social OTR. Social OTR. Yeah. Okay, I will get down there. Yeah. Persephalus, that yeah. is one of my favorite. You know, I love all these programs down at CityLink. you got to check them out. Okay, tell us about Perscolas. Perscolas is an IT training program. Um, they're a national organization. They started in New York, and um, we're lucky to have them on mm -hmm. site at CityLink. And they were actually the first kind of real step into industry training. They came on board in 2015 at CityLink, and they offer a wide variety of different tracks. So they have a software testing track. They have a A-plus certification, which is basically taking computer apart and putting them back together. Oh, wow. Um, and they uh, recently launched Cable Tech, and so teaching people how to wire buildings so that you can hook all that technology in. But what we found with those guys when they moved in is that folks coming out of these training programs have um, a greater shot at making a living wage. Mm -hmm. Soft skills are great, but they're going to get you an entry-level position. These mm -hmm. training programs are really the things that push you forward toward that living wage where you're going to be able to take care of your family and take care of yourself, which is pretty amazing. So from their their lead following their lead we brought in these extra or these additional training programs because we see that's really it's really it where it's really at it is and and these are jobs that are actually needed in our community. Absolutely, yeah. We were really fortunate. There's an organization called Common Impact, and they partnered us up with Fidelity, our local Fidelity team, um, to do a tar to to come at a challenge that we were facing at CityLink, and we were tr we were trying to figure out what training programs should we be should we be bringing into CityLink. Mm -hmm. And so, what the folks at Fidelity did is they did a landscape assessment around the city to figure out what jobs are out there, what are the qualifications, because we want to make sure that we can open our doors up to everybody in our community that might be looking for job training, regardless of their academic levels or their criminal history or whatever. We want to make sure that it's available. And so they went out and looked at that, looked at job growth and also wage rates. And based on their findings is how we've determined which programs to bring in. Well, that's brilliant. That yeah. is good strategy. I just want to mention quickly, too, we just have about a minute left, um, financial services, because mm -hmm. once people are making a lot more money than they used to make, right. they need help in, in handling their finances, That's and you right. take care of that too. That's right. Smart Money Community Services is built into each of our training programs to help folks manage that money and budget that money once it starts coming in. So they, they get a framework of a budget put together, and then they're able to continuously meet with the financial counselors once their training program is over. Well, this is great, and I want to make sure people know how to reach you. We've got the website on the screen, citylinkcenter.org. That's it. All the information is there. Danny, thank you so sure, much for coming Thank on. you.